All right, ladies and gentlemen, just a nice little late night lift. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, everyone. Time to go to work. What am I doing today? Work in gym. I got food in here like I'm packing for like 20 children. I love food, man. I love food. Probably one of the greatest inventions of all time. And I couldn't imagine life without good food. You know what I mean? I got a thing of crumble cookie. I got some fruits. I got some yogurt and I got my meal prep. As we all know, pumpkin spice season is coming. It's already came to be honest. Pumpkin spice started to come out like, like a month ago. Almost a month. Yeah, something like that. They started a little bit early, which is interesting. Apparently it's because uh, the, the profits were a little bit low. So they decided to pull out the big guns and decided to, to release the, the pumpkin spice. But that's besides the point. Let's talk about yogurt really quickly, okay? This has 150 calories. This is the pumpkin... Pumpkin Harvest Crisp. I mean, we'll see if it's good. Contrary to popular belief, I go to Starbucks, but I I'm not like the greatest fan of pumpkin. I'm not like, you know, I'm not, I'm not I don't gobble on the schmied of pumpkin. Like, I think it's all right. It's just, I don't know. It's just not my favorite. But if I go to Starbucks right now, I definitely wouldn't pick a pumpkin spice latte. I'm just, or anything pumpkin spice really. I mean, it's, eh, it's just not my first choice. If someone gave it to me, I wouldn't mind, but yeah, all right. I'm, I'm going around in circles here, but. Hopefully it tastes good. This is like 15, 1600 calories that I'm eating in this like little meal right here. Partially because of the cookie, all right? The majority of the calories is from the cookie or cheesecake rather, it's not a cookie. By the way, we're heading to work right now, so um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Crazy to think how fast time is moving. We're talking about in the short term here. I'm talking about this week. This week has moved so fast that, uh, you know, I, I only have one one meal prep left, unfortunately. So unfortunately, Saturday, your boy's on his own. You know what that means? It's almost time to reload uh, uh, when it comes to meal prepping. So I'm cooking up, no pun intended. I'm cooking up some ideas of how I should tackle next week's uh, uh, meal prep and stuff and I, I think I have a couple of ideas just kind of gathering up some some thoughts and stuff and try to figure out how to how to seriously pile in the calories for the last week of uh, this timed bulk I guess I do believe that I do want to continue bulking for a little bit just to see how far I can go if I could push it to 170 but that 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 would be insane so I'll try but when it comes to the timed bulk uh, we're almost done so this last week is definitely gonna be like we're seriously gonna smashing the calories so gotta gather up the, sh the, the, the the grocery list the way i used to approach bulking is definitely not the right way to do it i mean i guess if you think about it there's as long as you're eating the right amount of calories for bulking or for cutting however whatever you're trying to get to as long as you're getting the right amount of calories in a day it's fine the way i approached it to me it's wrong because i i I, I, it makes me hate bulking more because I'm constantly miserable, especially whenever I take those 1,000 calorie uh, protein smoothies or whatever. That made me miserable. This next week, I want to start doing uh, a different approach. I want to just start like eating like let's say 500 calories every few hours. You know what I mean? Not like 1,000 increments. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't I don't believe that's the best way to do it for me. I have to emphasize that it's for me because it, it's it's for me. It's it's the way I do it. Right? This could work for you guys. It might not. I don't know. Lots of calories next week lots of protein next week i also want to eventually switch up my workout routine still keep like the base principle of ppl but i just want to switch it up a little bit you know what i mean like when it comes to like what workouts i do because i've been doing the same type of let's say for chest right i've always been doing cable flies and then bench or uh chest press and that's not inherently a bad thing it's just you know i after a while, I just get bored of it, so I want to switch it up a little bit for my psyche, I guess. So. And I want to write it all down and stuff, too, so I want to put it all in my notes. Different approach to bodybuilding, I guess, because I guess that's what you would call it, of course, bodybuilding. We're going to go home, edit. Oh, nice little lift. Today is the best day. Today's best day, chest day. I'll just call it chest day because that's the big muscle that I'm working on, but it's, it's, it's push day. I got to edit that crumble cookie video. My sleep pattern has been a little bit weird recently it's not like i've been sleeping incredibly late i'm just saying like I, i've been i've been sleeping a lot more compared to my usual like six to seven hours right or you know mostly seven hours I went up to like eight to nine it's not a bad thing to go up to eight but i do want to you know wake up uh, a couple hours before i have to go to work rather than like you know rather than like an hour before i go to work so it, it really just comes down to like me forcing myself to get up in the morning you know the nice cold with like the the warm blanket it makes me want to sleep even more so by the way let's go do the old do the old editing stuff all right all 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, just a nice little late night lift. Late night lift is what the topic of this video is about, I guess. Is this a small? This is a medium and I'm like, <laughs> oh Jesus. Have I gotten that big, I guess? Or like, I don't know, like, gone that fat, I guess, to, to, the, to the point where I fill up a medium shirt now? I guess that's kind of cool, I guess. Push day done today. Oh yeah, looking, looking real good. This is me on the bulk. This still looks a little bit like I'm shredded, so I feel like I should definitely go further when it comes to the bulk, so. I could definitely feel fat growing though, I will say that. There's definitely fat, but like, I feel like I could go further, so. I don't know, that might be the goal. I've never really experimented with like, my leanness, I guess. I don't know how many pounds I am, like, completely lean. I'm, I'm guessing about, like, 145 is when I'm, like, I'm leanest. Maybe, but I don't know. I'd like to grow that a little bit, though, if possible. If I could be 150 lean, that would be... Uh, that would actually be dangerous. That, that would be insane. But for now, we're at 160 somewhat lean. Definitely got some fat on me, but, you know. It's not like you could tell that I'm completely on the bulk, you know what I mean? Maybe 165 was a little bit low. Maybe I could go further, but I don't know. Uh, yeah. Like I said, this is the late night lift. What time is it? It is 1 a.m., ladies and gentlemen. Yep, late night lift. I'm gonna go home, have a protein shake, and you know, just chill for the rest of the night, go to bed. <laughs> sir. <laughs> yeah, sir. All right, so next morning, your boy's gonna go from recording this part of the video, this last part of this video, to the, the first part of tomorrow's video. But point is, um, late night lifts are probably, well, honestly, it's not even like about the late night lift. It's not about like the time frame. It's 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 kind of about the time frame, but it's mostly about the time when no one's there. Last night I went to the gym around like 7.30 until like 9, 9.30, give or take. And um, I realized that I didn't do everything that I wanted to. So I went back around like 12, 12.30 and uh, finished off everything. I did some shoulder pressing. I did uh, some of the some of the triceps that I needed to do. You know what? It was honestly therapeutic because like I said, not many people are there. I've been getting used to going to the gym with a lot of people and um, you know, it, it's okay, I guess. I'm getting used to it a little bit because you know, that's just kind of like how the group wanted to do it. And uh, we wanted to go to the gym around that time. So it's all good, but now, uh, when I went last night, it was, uh, it was a completely different vibe, and I don't know, I felt, I felt, I felt unstoppable, you know what I'm saying? So, it was a great lift. Shout out to Crunch Fitness for being open that late, and shout out to Crunch Fitness for just being open 24 hours. I do want to try a different gym. I don't know, just kind of exploring. Believe it or not, as someone that's been going to the gym for almost two years, I've never tried any other gym besides, um, Besides Anytime Fitness and Crunch. Maybe when I try Planet Fitness uh, for today's video. Well, sorry, for tomorrow's video for you guys. Oh, it, maybe. Just a maybe. No promises, but just a, just a thought. Just try to refresh it a little bit. Um, I know Planet Fitness isn't like the, 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 the top tier gym uh, out there, but like I said, just something different. Maybe explore some other gyms around my town and seeing what's there. So. Either way, great late night lift. I'm gonna go record the this next part of the video now. And then uh, that's all she wrote, boys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be seeing y'all tomorrow, right? Okay. Turn around. No, I got options. Begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key in my heart is to lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.